Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia tutorial. So uh, today I want to show you how I made this animation. And uh, yeah, there is not much to say. Uh, yeah, just we do it. And this is rendered in Octane, of course. And uh, I have already uploaded a, a physically rendered version of this one. So uh, I think I will make this tutorial again in Octane Render just because it renders faster. So that this is not, it, it's nothing really complicated here to shading. Uh, only the fluid that you see here, I made a little subsurface scattering in the fluid. And yeah, the, this file, the Octane file is online as well to download. And, and maybe it's better I show you the fluid in physical Render. In Octane it's very easy. But in physical render, it's a little more tricky. Uh, yeah, and we decided a little later. So, uh, yeah, the animation is for both render, of course, the same. Good. So I would say let's start. Let's start with uh, the uh, hourglass. In the hourglass, the hourglass, the hourglass is a quite simple thing. So I made a cylinder. Oops and gave it some more segments here, the height. Be sure that uh, you have one segment, so one line exactly in the middle of, of a scene. So something like that, that should be enough. Even less would be enough. So, okay, 12, should be fine. Good. The next step is, I bulge this cylinder, so I go to my bulge, not squish and stretch, the so bulge here, and bring it under, as children under our object here, so I, I hold just the shift key, so it automatically will be a, shift, uh, a child. And here we go to the strength, and yeah go down here so something like that and yeah I make this a little smaller let's say 100 okay that looks not bad and here in the vindictive billet okay so far and of course we need some uh, rounding on the top as well or this wouldn't look not bad as well so however you want it but uh, in the caps we go to fillet and here I can make the radius higher, ah, yeah, something like that. And that looks already quite nice here. Maybe let it make the bulge a little higher. Oh also higher as you can yeah that, that looks nice. So something like that. Okay. We can change this later on, so so if we want it, but uh, I think this looks quite nice. Good, what is the next step? We bring this whole thing a little up in the scene, so that we can bring our uh, cloner with the cylinders under it. So drag this up, so about... Oh no, it, this doesn't matter. 240 for now. Okay. Now let's make this uh, cylinder thing here. And for this, of course, we need a cylinder. And I make the cylinder about... Don't need height segments. Radius, I think I made it 7 or so. Okay, fine. And I clone this whole thing, of course. So I take my cylinder, hold my Alt key, click on the cloner. And we have seven here, so seven radius, let's go. Seven foot in 20 by 20, so. Oh no, not, not this. Here in the size, 20 by 20. That should look nice, okay. And then from above, if we, I wanna bring this in the C axis or something like this, that we make it in the C axis, the rotation. Let's see where it has to rotate then. 
Yeah, okay. Go to 90 degrees here. So I see exactly how many clones I need to fill this space up here. Okay. Cloner and let's go to here. So something like that. Maybe one more. And here. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, something like that. Okay, we have lots of clones. And let's bring the cloner a little up here. Drag it up. So, yeah, bring it up the 100 centimeters. The, the, uh, the cylinders are 200 height, so 100 is exactly on the floor. And then. Okay, then we have to put this our glass a little up here again. I always hold my shift key so that I have increments and so I have it easier later on. So, okay, that looks not bad. So the next step is we have to uh, bring the clones down where the hourglass wants to touch the clones. So okay, interesting. And we do this with the plane effector. I selected my cloner first, then I click on the plane effector, so the effector comes automatically into the effector tab here. If it's not inside here, simply drag it in and that's okay. And here we use the fields. And in the fields we use our hourglass here. And in the hourglass we say we want it on surface. You see nothing happens at the moment. But let's go up with the surface here, so with the radius. Ah, you see, uh, because of the color, but we didn't tell uh, the plane effector what to do. So we have to go to the parameters and say, go bring down the cloner here, so something like that. And if we rotate the cloner, then so you see, wong, wong. That works pretty good. Be sure that we don't have any intersection here, but you see, that works perfect. Great. This is the thing. <laughs> it looks nice. <laughs> So, and we don't need the color here, so if you want to make clones, they are changing the, they're changing the color in the animation. So you can use this color to make a more color shader. We did this so often, meanwhile, in the other tutorials. But uh, I don't need this because I want to make the same color on every clone. So go in the plane effect of fields and deactivate the color here. So the next step is we need the socket down here with the holes. And this is again quite easy. We know this is seven radius, one of these cylinders. So let's make a simple circle. Bring it to the floor here, so and say seven radius. Okay. And I simply copy this cloner with control, I hold my control and drag this down. Delete this guy and put in this guy. Now you see I have exactly everywhere this circle, but in this cloner I don't need the effector. And I want to bring this exactly on the floor. So go to the coordinates and it's 200. Okay, great. So let's hide the first cloner. This is the cloner. A cylinder. Okay. Let's save this as Hourglass Tutorial. Tutorial. Okay. Uh, the next step is we can hide this cloner and we make here our socket. So I go up here and bring in. Uh, rectangle here, 
and make the rectangle first. So how big you want, I would say, so like this here. So let's go down here. So to 200. Here to whoops. 300. 300. And yeah, okay, I'm happy with this. Now I need a spline mask. So I go to the cloner and bring the cloner into a connect object. So it will be treated as one spline here. Okay. And bring this one in the spline mask here. I oh, oh, uh, selected the connect, I hold my alt key, click on the spline mask, so it becomes apparent. And bring in the, as well, so you see, okay, this is not what we need. We have to say the spline mask, please, along the y-axis. And here we need R, and we have this nice spline. And this guy we can now extrude. So we go to the extrude here. And you see, don't go to don't go to Y. And we have this nice thing. And when we bring in the cloner, you will see in every hole we have one of these guys, which is great. The next step is I want, of course, a little rounding everywhere. We could do this with the extrude here and give it, let's say here, three centimeter. But that works, of course, but this, uh, maybe we'll be a little close here. This can make some failure if you, let's hide the clone for now. If you go a little too crazy with this. Uh, in this case it works, but it does not work with the very, I'll show you later. But the problem I have with this one is, I have here no rounding. And this is, looks terrible. So let's delete this and make this with a paper deformer. So I bring the extrude in a null object with Alt G. So this is the socket. And under the socket, so I select my null and then I hold my shift key and click on the bevel. Okay, that should do something. Nice. So let's say I want here 2 cm and about 3 subdivisions. It needs a little to calculate. That's nicer. You have now here a rounding as well. But here in the paper you have to be careful when you go too far with this guy here. You see you get this thing here. So for this, yeah, when the cloner is inside, this wouldn't make a big difference. But you see it somewhere here and here and here. It's not nice. So let's go here to 2.5 or so. Yeah, that's perfect. Nice. And I know I am happy with this like it is. Uh, it needs the barrel needs a little time to calculate. So when we make the animation with the with the barrel, it will take a little longer to calculate. So we could make this to an object, to one object, because I am sure I this is okay for me. So like it is. Now you can still, if, if you're not, if you say I want more holes or so more, more clones, now you can still change this all. So when you go back to your cloner and say, let's say I want, for any reason, I want uh, skinnier things here, guys. So I can do the same down here and in the connect cloner, the circle, I say five as well. So, it all works perfect. You can say how many clones you want, and then, but if you're then sure you, you know what you do, so then I would uh, 
convert it to an object and this will I do. So I go back here to 7, this was okay for me. 7, 7. Okay, nice. And here I say, I bring this whole thing in a connect and make current state to object. So I have my socket here. And I can delete here, so not delete, I deactivate everything, hide it, and I bring it in a backup folder. So the backup folder is my own script. This is just a null object named backup, so this is, and, and hidden. So this is nothing fancy. You can make this null object here, and meanwhile, with the asset browser, make such a null if you want something like this. You don't have to make a script for it anymore. Make your null object, whatever you want, how it should look. Then go to your asset browser, make your own folder here somewhere, so like me, my, my misc things, uh, miscellaneous things, and drag this object inside here, and then you can drag it outside of the uh, asset browser directly in your toolbar. So you have it wherever you want. You can do this with every object, whatever you want in here. You can drag it directly in the, in the toolbar. So, uh, nice. So we have this now. And this works now much faster. So I don't need this whole selection text here. Delete the connect here. Okay, fine. This doesn't matter, this we don't see the, this because this is in the floor laid down, so it doesn't matter. Good, so uh, let's animate this hourglass here, or we can do this later. Well, let's late, mix this late, later. We can hide the bulge, so this is safe. And what we want, we want, of course, a little fillet on the cylinders as well. So go to the caps here, fill it. I think the radius 2 is enough. Okay, that's nice. Safe. So the next thing will be the fluid. So first of all, uh, you see the hourglass like this looks not nice. So we put it in a subdivision surface, select it, hold my Alt key, click it in the subdivision surface looks much nicer. So, uh, and this later on we will put this in a, in a cloth object because we need it when we render with the physical render, we need a little thickness on, on the glass. So this is the reason, you don't need it in, in Octane, you don't need it really. I do it uh, anyways, but uh, here in, in physical render you need it. So, uh, yeah, we have the fluid. For the fluid, we need, this is the hourglass subd, the subdivision surface. I name it because uh, I want to put this in now in an instance, and so I know which one is in the instance. And so I have our glass and our glass safety. Good. So let's make an instance of this our glass here. Nice. So now here we have the safety inside. The next step is what I need is a cube. Let's bring this here. Uh, let's let's make uh, here a constraint. Later on, this this will rotate, and so I want that the instance rotate with it, because at the moment when I rotate the this here, you see the instance does not rotate with it. So we go to the instance and give it a rigging tag constraint. And here we go to parent, and the parent should be our our class here. Position rotation is okay. 
So that when I rotate now at this guy, you see the instance rotates with it. It's exactly what I need. Nice. So let's make here the hourglass, give it a, a, a render tag, a display tag, and I want to show here just lines and isopalms, so we see it better. Okay, now we see nicely inside and see the fluid later. Now, I need this 90 degrees here now and I make a cube, simple cube. And I drag the cube exactly to the middle of this August. This is a little weird as this is not, uh, but okay. So I drag this up until the, the, the surface here is exactly in the middle of our hourglass. Okay, I don't need it, so I need to trust that it covers the hourglass. So 120 here, and go up here and let's see. Let's hide the cloner for a moment and see the cube should be longer here a little bit. So this is enough. 220 is okay. Just that it covers it. Okay, that's nice. Now I bring the cube and the hourglass in a volume builder. So I go to the cube, bring it in a volume builder. So with my volume builder measure, this is small script can download on Patreon and it makes the builder and measure at once so that you don't have to make this all the time. Make the volume builder, then bring the volume builder the volume measure, blah blah blah. So and here I go down to one, let's see. Okay. Then I bring in the hourglass sub D. And I want this now at intersect. This should be up here normally. This is a little strange. Why isn't... This is strange. I have the instance is here, the axis is here, everything is nice. Is this now? What? Maybe the I delete the volume measure and bring it this one in the volume measure builder and bring the cube inside. One intersect. This is strange. is not even taking the rotation from here. Let's see what is... Something went wrong. Yes, I go back. Here, this works, so this is perfect. The cube here, this is perfect too. We need just the cube, but this should work like it like it did it's uh, again I go to the volume build the volume measure so hundred oops one not hundred bring this guy it, it goes down to here This is strange. Bring this to the same. Uh, bring now the, with this trick. I uh, bring it the volume measure exactly on the same, uh, the same position like the hourglass. So we could bring it as a child and say then reset to transform or reset transform. 
then I have it on the same so let's see if it works now bring the cube in bring the instance in now the instance is down here now what's wrong here ah maybe because of the maybe because of the we should put the constraint tag later on it maybe so the hour glass is here at 90 degrees so bring it here was it in this yeah in this direction bring this 90 degrees as well no it is here why is this the yeah, the volume measure is now at 90 degrees. No. Bring this back. Oops. Up to the middle here, so, okay. And now I make it new, so, without the, uh, with the without the tag here. So let's hide the cube and let's see where is our sub D. The sub D is here. It's 90, but I don't have 90 here. That's, that's strange. Zero. I make it new. So this one, make a new instance. And I put this at 90. And I put this now at 90. Yeah, this is now the same. Okay. And this will work better. But I do not, so I make not the constraint deck now. This comes later. So I take the cube here, put it in a volume measure. Set it to one. Then I bring in. Yeah, now it works. It was the constraint deck. I did the constraint too early. Bring this to intersect, and now you see we have this fluid. And of course, I want some uh, water, some, some movement on the on the surface here. So we need some uh, displacement. Uh, you could say, okay, I bring up displacement and the volume measure, but it was would display uh, displace everything. So I show you the, the difference. So uh, bring this in a null object. This is the fluid, let's say. Under the null object, I bring in a displacer. Shading, we need some noise. You see, it is everywhere. This is not what we want. So I don't need the null here. We bring the displacer under the cube, but you see the cube has no segments, almost no segments. Uh, no segments in this case. Also. So let's go up with the segments here. Then let's bring, let's look at the cube tiles here, so, and give it quite a lot. So, uh, okay, 100, X, 100, here and the Y lots here uh, make 200 200 okay so and now when we bring this cube uh, this under the cube to this place uh, now you see we have only on the surface this this waves so let's go here in the world and I make this another thing, FPM, something looks nice for water and much bigger, so let's say 3000. Yeah, that looks nice. And we want a little animation speed here, so 0.5 and 8. I have here an animation of 8 seconds, so I make loop to 8 seconds. And if we hit play, this should move normally. Yeah, we have a nice movement here. Okay. Let's hide for a moment this guy here. Ah.
and yeah, this is because we don't have this sub activated, so we get this. But I just look because of the edges here, and this we could make a little sharper, maybe. So when we can, can go to 0.5, maybe. So now that looks quite smooth. If it's not smooth enough for you, you can put in a smoothing here on top with just one, this is enough. Okay. But of course, you you are right if you say, hey, this, we have no surface tension. The surface tension normally should go here higher, so on, on the edges it should go up here. So. But it's fake fluid, so <laughs> we have no say, surface tension here. But I think we can be, with NA you can hide it and you can be quite happy with this. Uh. Okay, nice. We have this fluid here. And of course this, now I can put here on this a uh, rigid uh, constraint tag. Parent. The parent is our, oh, I got something here, so. And now when I rotate this back here to zero, the instance rotates with it, you see? Perfect. So, no, we can make this animation, so animation with this movement. Uh, I think 100 frames would be enough, 150 frames for this animation. But you can do it however you want, I would say 100 is enough here. But then I have to go to my displacer and tell it, hey, just four seconds now. Okay. And save it. On the hourglass, I make a keyframe on zero. And on the last frame, go to 360. Okay. And now. This should run with the instance. And we have this nice fake fluid animation here. Which looks really nice, I think. <laughs> okay, that works perfect. Save. And yeah, of course, uh, uh, the cloner works with it, but we are not done totally because, as I said, we need this a little, uh, we need a, a cloth stack on this, so let's go to the hourglass and put it in the cloth. So, whoop, 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 whoop. hourglass selected, alt key. Stack. And here I say a one centimeter. It doesn't matter if it's just to have some thickness here. You see, when we go to five centimeter, you see we get some thickness here. One centimeter. And what I want is that the fluid intersects here. It goes a little inside, the, not not outside of the cloth. But between the original shape and the cloth here in between. And how can we do this? You cannot simply resize it. This is this is not the right way. Uh, it was nice with the extension with the pi uh, parametric tools here. We had the uh, pi modifier, uh, normal move modifier, but the pi things don't work anymore in. Uh, 2023 so I don't know why I still have it installed but good so there are some ways to do this we can yes we can I, I show it in, in, in a new file I think this is for the better overview let's make a simple nope a simple sphere and make it editable. So there are some ways to, to move. You can now go in a polygon mode, right click and or with MC is the, is the 
you have here somewhere normal transform MC normal move. Here you can click somewhere or, or give it a value. You can make uh, things bigger and smaller. But this is not just a uh, resizing. Uh, maybe this is not the best thing. Let's bring in a sculpture thing here. So sculpture. Let's bring in this ahead. So and we don't need yes, uh, and now when we uh, want to make this smaller so I make a second one to show you what I mean the first one I will make x-ray here so and the second one when I now simply go here simply scale this down so let's see T for scale and I want of course center from the from the middle of the object so I center the axis here and scale this down you see here that does not work because you see that goes outside here here it, it works somehow here it works but this you cannot just scale it down this this is this does not work what you have to do is you have to move the uh, normal. So when I now go in the, with MC in the normal move tool in uh, polygon mode and I move this down, now you see I can move it down and it goes exactly, nothing goes out here, so it's exactly how it should be. But I want to make this parametric, so when I do this, uh, I'm now there, and poop, and I cannot make this parametric. So, so when I, I want the slider, when I go now again in the move tool, that's okay, just here, so zack zack, and I want to change this with MC. Yeah, I can now again move for something else uh, or, or nothing. But this this is nothing. I, I don't want it like this, you know. Okay, I know here with the MC to go back to the original state, I have to go 0.25 plus. So I'm on the. But this is not the way I want to do it. So we have something. Uh, going object mode. In the notes, we can use this is a little workaround. And this is in the modifier here. Whoops. And here we have a polygon bevel. We use this here. What this does is it ooh, nice, great. Make here an offset of one that you see what we have. This is this. Looks not what we need, so so I don't want to insert it. But I want to use here. Uh, I want to use here islands. And when I go here, here with the offset to minus, that makes again everything how I want it. You see, when I can just small, so so I have thickness on this as well. This works. So we can instead of the pi move normal move we can use the polygon bevel here. Okay. So wink back to normal. And so I want to bring the fluid a little inside here. So I go to my cube and uh, before the displacer so after the before the displacer. So. I bring in this polygon bevel guy and let's bring it, first I set it up here to zero, zero so that it don't explode here so. and then I bring it down and when I go here now to the minus direction, oh not to the plus direction I have to go, it needs a little to calculate of course, we could deactivate the Maybe we 
seed bed. No, I don't need. I don't need it on the cube. Stupid me. I need it on the hourglass. But, but the good one is it works with instances as well. Bring it back to zero, and I bring it under the hourglass. And here I want to make this a little bigger. So one centimeter is too much. 0.5 because we had one centimeter on the cloth. So we are now exactly on the cloth part. But with 0 0.5, we are now exactly in this cloth shell. And this is exactly what I want. You can go to 0.2, it would be fine. How, it's important that you, here you see it nicely, we are in the shell here. Okay. Perfect. Later, it is, is for, the, for the render, is this very for physical render is this very important good but i will show you other things for the render do as well so so maybe you want it smaller so it looks like thicker glass but now what do we have here we have this is on the floor we don't see it but uh, we did this already to we made this already to a perfect uh to one object if you want to get rid of this in the bevel here, so when we go we go to the socket thing here in the bevel, you you click phone break roundings, then you don't you get rid of this guy here. Okay. Good. Save this, and now let's make this linkage. So this is gold holders here. Well, first, we make the ring around here. Bring around your neck. So, the ring. What I do is bring in this and be the sitter. Okay. I bring in a normal cylinder. Cylinder. Wow. We have here the cylinder, and I want the cylinder exactly on the middle here, so, so bring this up. I hold my shift key so I can be sure that I'm exactly on the line here. This is where I want to be. And then I make this, of course, smaller. And I think 15 minutes try so I want it until here so 60 so oh, that's good oh. yeah I want to here and maybe it's a little too much let's make 15 okay give it a lot of sub uh, of segments here so because I need here. I want to work with the volume builder as well, so radius maybe 30, that's too much, 25, okay, nice. Now I make an instance of the cross surface here, because this outside here, this is the cross surface. But I start with, with, the, uh, with the smoothed out, so with the sub D make an instance here instance 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 so instance of the cloth surface and now again we play with the volume builder this is the ring ding not ring ding ring ring ding and go down here to point five and bring in the ring and we subtract this and now we have here a nice ring here let me hide here this guy here we see we have this great ring which works really fine we can go even down here to point three okay now i want to holders for the linkage then the two small 
uh, bup, 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 bup. cylinders again cylinder the cylinders here so I need it along the X here make it the radius 10 for now so, and bring it up until here in the middle so little more up here so, dun, dun. so this is exactly the middle so, a little smaller something like that okay mm, yep Let's see this is okay and then we don't need it as high as so what we need is here when we play with the volume builder, I always give a lot of subdivisions here, but we don't need any height segments. The height, 5, and I bring it up to somewhere like here, so yeah, that looks nice. Good. And now, I make a symmetry object. And I bring it down and give in the cylinder. And let's see, is it on the other side? Yep, it's the correct one in symmetry in Y. So in CY, perfect. And bring the symmetry in the volume builder. So it, it's, it's one thing here. Great. Now I need a hole inside. So, so let's copy this other oh, the cylinder thing here. I drag this out, make it, bring it in the X here to zero. Okay, make it higher. Walk so that it goes over here, so that's nice. And here. So I make three and a half maybe. Okay. Bring this guy as well in our volume builder and subtract it. Now we have this nice hole inside. I love to work with the volume builder really. <laughs> it's too nice. And now we can go even smaller. It will tell the, you know, the cinema will tell you when it when it's uh, dangerous when it's too small. So and I put a smoothing on top of it, but it's just one. It looks nice. Okay. And this I want to remesh. So we have here our ring. I bring in the remesher, and here I can remesh in the C and in the X axis X and C so we can make this symmetric so we get a nice cell uh, and I don't need so I need I think 10 is more than enough and wait a little bit so and you see what a nice mesh we get here maybe 5 try we could make it without a remesh as well but we, we save some uh, yeah power things some some v rhyme maybe so whatever but look at this this looks nice nice and I current state to object this is now the ring I disable here so, so everything with the volume builder and the remesh. Bring it in the backup folder, maybe. So, okay, so great. And this looks with the hourglass, it looks nice now. It's exactly around. Perfect. This, what you see here, this is the inside, so this is, doesn't matter. The next step is our linkage. Yeah, we need the splines. 
Let's go to this side here. This is the side, yeah, okay. <laughs> and now I want a spline from here to maybe here, and then one to here and one to here. So, and this we can make quite easy. We can hide for now the whole. So, here it is. It's okay, we can hide the hourglass as well. Or we can hide the ring, maybe this is an easier. Ah. So, anyways, good. I want, let's say, a spline from this point here to this point and then up to the middle of here. Okay. So, let's go. I go to the point mode. So, here, point mode. Then I want a spline pen. Go to here. Normally, it should be here, but it isn't now. So. But go to spline, spline pen. So I have my spline pen. And I want a snapping. I activate snapping and say grid work plane snapping. Okay. Here we're in the grid point, grid line. It's fine. Now I start here, make a point. Go to this point here. And I go up. To exactly middle of here. Whoops. Great. Now this spline is here in the middle, so we have to bring it to this side. In object mode E for the move tool, and I drag this down to something like 120 or so. This 120 should be fine. Okay. We have this. Now I can disable here the snapping and going to my spline oops back here I go to my spline point mode okay I need here the some two uh, holders but this is not so I select this one point hold the control key and drag this one inside the, the, the socket here it doesn't matter where so. So this is inside, this is nice. And now I would love to to make the same here, control key, but you see that it does not work. But no problem, we go to here. Okay, once more we need the snapping. Go back to the spline pen and you see we can still play from this spline. And with the spline pen I go in this hole. And go to somewhere like here, maybe. So, okay, that's perfect. Uh, it's not really perfect. You see, it's not on the, on the line. I want it exactly on the line. So that is perfect. Now it's straight. We wouldn't have seen it, but. Good, nice. And now again we play simply with the symmetries. We put a s this in a symmetry. Wink. Perfect. Then we put the symmetry in a symmetry. And set this symmetry to, of course, the wrong one. So, and now we have our aspirin in here. And we don't have to care about this is not together and blah 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 uh, because this is the linkage we put the whole thing in a volume builder what a surprise so volume builder volume mesh and you see blop good so we need the first model and this looks not really nice because the radius here is far too high. So we have here, we did this with 3.5, I think 3.5. But now we have this uh, spheres, and we get rid of this when we go up with the density. So 5 or something, yes, and we have this plan. 
and 3.5 is exactly what we need. Great. Okay, now we need here some thing what hold what is holding the linkage. And for this we make a simple tube. In the X direction. I drag the tube a bit loud so that we see what we do here. Make it fast motor, T for scales, uh, something like that. And I bring it exactly on this point here. So E for the move tool. And because I hold my shift key, because we made everything with quantize, so with the steps we can simply with the shift key go exactly to the position where we have to be. So we know this is 3.5. Uh, so let's go to the tube. The inner radius is 3.5. The outer radius, let's say, 6 or so. Or no, make it bigger here. 8. OK. We don't need this. Well, let's say height 5 or so. And we drag it. To our okay, nice and maybe a little the radius a little bigger. Not to see it here. Yeah, we can make the radius here a little bigger. So get okay, to ten. Of course, we need here fill it as well and give it here more uh, segments. Let's say fifty or so. Okay, nice. That looks nice. And here we do the same. We can even, I think we can simply take the, copy this out here, these two symmetries. And instead of the, uh, the spline here, I bring in the tube. And we have it everywhere. <laughs> Done. So this is the linkage, great, and now this is uh, the socket side things, okay, and now, yeah, this is a little sharp here, everything, so I want this more round, so I go back to my spline here, and let's have this a moment. Go in point mode, and I select this line here, and this uh, this point and this point. Right click, chamfer, and drag it to the side. Uh, make a jump of about ten here, and when we bring this back now, you see now we have a nice round thing here. Bring back the cloner. And we can start. We can start to render. Uh, one more thing, because now when we uh, that's uh, this is because of it is the fluid here. So yeah, okay. So it's fine. And. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. When we hit play now, we see the ring does not go with it. So, but the ring should go with it as well, of course. But nothing easier than that. We do the same trick with the ring. We bring in constraint tag. So simulation constraint. Rigging constraint, not simulation. Parent our class sub D and now they should run the ring should run with it okay the whole thing runs in the wrong direction for me so let's go to here then. do the uh, time thing things and I hit H here to bring everything exactly in I see everything and I go here to minus 360 so that should run now in the 
Yep, this is now the correct thing for me. Save it, bring back the fluid. Okay. And right now we can start to render. So as I said, the Octane thing is uh, is already online and, and Octane, it, it, there is nothing really special, but here in the physical render we have to think about some things. So I show you the physical render thing. And uh, yeah. Yeah, because as I said, Octane on Octane is on Patreon, and on Patreon you will find so much more. Mean meanwhile, are there uh, about 350 uh, patron-only posts, with every post as as a tutorial for patrons only, or downloads or project files or whatever. So there is really a lot on Patreon. So okay, that was just a little. Have to say. Good. Uh, we start with the Nicomedia scenery, of course. So I don't need here almost nothing. I need here nothing because we make everything via us. Yep. Okay. So let's find this HDRI I used in the original one. Indoor, it was this one, and I want to see it in the viewport here. So, so far, so good. I want it in the window. This is this was the nice thing, but you see, it does not really fit together. So, yeah, I could make this like this and bring it yeah, this would work but uh, so and let's see and I go to I want to bring everything in one nice so that I can move everything together here this is all together alt G All. <laughs> All. <laughs> and I can now move everything. So where is the... So, okay. Let's see. Something like that could look nice. Or I made an, an, uh, a render a, with physical render already, and there I put this whole thing on the on the wood board here. Uh, let's see if I find this quickly. This render. Bup, 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 bup. Yep. Let's go F6 here, and I drag the render inside here. See, let's fit it to the here. I put it on this one here, and you see what, what a nice thing we get with the physical render. Okay, so let's try this. So let's bring this back to zero where it was. This is not what where it was. I want to bring this just the X zero. So okay, good. Uh, I did this like this. So I made a camera. We can, unfortunately we can. Uh, we can try it. We can try to. To make this here but unfortunately one problem we have here when I make the camera and so I go to let's say 80 here you see okay and this is still not possible to put this here on the thing 
I have to go closer. 100. Maybe 120. No, 100. Okay, this could look nice here. Yeah? So you see, I can put this here on. The don't for, uh, forget this. No, we don't see this later. But we we don't we have then this hundred focal length on the object as well, and this is not what I want. So I try to hide everything here. To try to find a nice spot. Yeah, this would look nice here. So that would look nice. And what I do now, I just I try to bring the, our thing here on top of this. And the problem is yes, so it could be nice. Save it. And uh, we are not in the middle here. So. And now I am okay. So save. And now we try to make a nice render. At the moment, let's go to the low GI here and go to the render settings. Activate low GI. Ambient occlusion. Yes, we want it here in this case. But be sure in ambient occlusion that you have, when you have glass or anything, uh, evaluate transparency. It needs a little longer, but we, it's worth the time. So, uh, let's see what we get when we render this. I just uh, looking now for the contact shader, shader sensor things. not for the shading itself. So what we do is we see nothing. We need a flow of course. So for the flow up we will try to make here a disk. And what's going on here so don't lock the icon. So uh, T for scale and make the disk of course bigger. So. And in the disk, for now, let's uh, come on. So. Don't lock the icons. Uh. Ah, render region, I don't want. So. Render view, so now I have it. So, And uh, now we have our uh, disk here. This is. The shadows are nice, contact shadows and everything nice, but we bring now in a lander tech, compositing tech. I don't want that the disk cast shadows, receive of course, and here I want to compose this with the HDRI in the background. Let's see what we get. Now it looks as, as it would stand exactly on this wood floor, uh, on the wood thing here. Looks great. Okay. So, uh, the next step is I want nicer shadows. So what I do, I activate the sun here in my rig. Activate. Let's see what we get then. Okay, we need to rotate this vertically so that we have the sun from above, so uh, maybe 50. Yep, nice shadows. Let's bring this. Yeah, exactly. And it looks nice here. It looks really that it goes down here. Okay, save this, and now we can start to 
render this here. So uh, to to shader this, not render this. Uh, here under the socket, I made a normal easy easy busy stone marmor. This one here. Uh, let's bring in the boing. Let's bring in the shift F2 the material manager here. Where is my nice marble now? So here. And bring it on the socket. Going. But it does not look nice here, so this not really what I want. So I go to a cubic mapping. Much better. And say fit to object. And when I say fit the object in cubic mapping, what I do is always I search for the longest, uh, for the biggest value here, 150 in this case, and make everywhere the same. So now it, it, it looks much nicer for me. Okay. We have here this one. Now I made some metal for the uh, for the cylinders here. Cylinders. Boing. Metal is always a nice thing to do. Just conductor. Here I have iridium or something else. Make the iridium darker later. Bring it on our cloner cylinder, Bukshi. And the brightness, I bring it up to 50. Okay. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it looks very nice. Safe. Now, a simple gold for our linkage here, I would say. So, oh, we don't even need to bring copy this material here. Control drag. Gold. So I go here back to 100. In the conductor, I go to gold. And bring this to 10 here. And I have a gold material, and I can put this on the hole. And on the side, guys, here, socket side thing. Yep. Ah, the ring is missing. Where is, where is the ring? Huh? Where is our ring? We don't need it. It's down there, so uh, maybe we're still remeshing, but it shouldn't be a big problem. We drag it simply again up to to the middle of here. Let's see if the constraint still works. For this, I go to the fluid and deactivate this for the moment. Yeah, the constraint still works. Fine. Okay. The ring gets this gold as well. Ah, no, no I have. Ah, it was not very. Clever that I. Oh, it's Control Shift to see. I could go back with the camera positions. I think this was. I don't need the snapping anymore. Yeah, this was the position. So, and give it a 
protection deck safe. Good. That's quite nice so far. Yeah, if you want, uh, what I no, I don't think so. Maybe what's better here, because now in this case it, it, it's okay because we are up here. Eight is okay. Make many animations with the portrait word mode here. But if you don't want this portrait mode on the object, what you can do is hide everything. Then, of course, the disk as well. And just render out this as, as a background picture. And then you can use the background picture. And this doesn't matter, then with, it has no influence on the focal length. And, then, and when you do this, you can with the physical, uh, with, with the uh, Nicomedia rig, when you have your background picture, you simply go to here, go to uh, background picture here, use flat background picture, bring in your background picture and click on compositing floor on so you don't even need this disk here so, so and so you have your focal length for here that the background picture and you can have every fo focal length you want without uh, influencing the background so so far so good but here it's okay with eating so uh, ba, 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 yeah, now, now let's go with the glass and the fluid. First, the glass is easy, so let's make. Let's go to the our glass here. Bring it, bring it on here, so that you can show you the between uh, cloth and no cloth. Make a new material. A glass. Glass is glass is glass. So. Transparency. It's okay. Yeah. That is. We don't have to change here anything. You mean the transparency? I don't want. Oh, and I don't need the second layer here. I can delete this. Okay. Fine. And I bring it not on the glass, uh, not on the surface, on the glass surface. I bring it on here, so I can show you what I mean. First, I. Disable the closed surface now and hit render. So you see, it looks like this. And that, yeah, we have to deactivate the fluid because the fluid is now outside of this because of the we made it a little bigger. No? Or we can simply go in the fluid, we can simply go back. We have now this polygon mm -hmm. value, so we can go to zero here. And now we have the fluid inside here. Uh, that looks not, it looks so okay, but it is a refraction and everything. This is not correct. If you, if you now bring this cloth inside, now we have the exact, you see now it, it's exactly the glass thing, what it should be. That looks much, much better now. And when I go here back to point two. Now you see the fluid is much better with the color and everything. So that is very nice. This is really very nice. So let's bring, uh, let's go to frame 50. So it should stay 90 degree. If it's true. Oh, come on. What did it? What's going on? This is here. So why does this not frame fifty? Uh, frame twenty five. Okay, ninety degrees. So now we can play with the fluid. Let's bring in the render. Okay. I simply con uh, copy this glass and name it fluid. And drag it on 
the fluid. Uh, it needs a little bit of it to the rain drain to the background. So, but what we could do, maybe it works faster when we the, the fluid we need here. What is when we hide? Discuss that. Ah, that's not a good idea, it seems. What is wrong here when I go? Okay, now I have only the fluid here. That makes it maybe a little faster, so we can go a little bit closer. Yeah, that makes it definitely faster. And in the fluid now, I go to that. I want here in the absorption. I say it, I bring in my the color I want. And I want some bluish like this. We want to see a lot now. It looks nice, but uh, as uh, smaller this number is, as darker the, or as prominent, as more prominent this color will be. You see it in the preview. Okay, and now I make here a darker blue color. Give it blurness, twenty. Yeah, that looks nice. Makes not a lot of difference, but okay. Ah, maybe it's a little too dark. Make this a little brighter. Okay, let's see how it looks with the glass. Yeah, that is a nice fluid here. <laughs> this looks nice. I like it. Okay, that is all. We are done. Let's make with this nice thing here. Uh, maybe let's see what we get when we bring, bring this down. It's not much difference. Yeah, you can get really, really nice things here. Make this. No, this is maybe a little too dark. It's more like blue ink. It's a nice tool. I go to 20, so something like that. Uh, 30. Yeah, okay. And now let's try to make a nice render result. So, and we say reasonable time to render. So, we go to the middle GI. Now in the case so middle GI evaluate transparency and in the physically 
think it's enough with again three is three and even twenty. Maybe we set the noise later on it, so that's okay or let's go here to seven twenty by seven twenty current frame, okay. Save everything and hit render. Let's see what we get. Percent. Oh, come on, come on. Do it a little faster. Yeah, when we get something is calculating in the background here on my PC, I think. Something runs not like it should, but uh, the one minute render time we should get normally. Yeah, the one minute we have. So let's go here to go up and let's see. Yeah, we have some grain inside, but this is something which the denoiser should handle with ease. Save it, go to the effects, denoiser, and render it again. Save. Okay, now it renders faster. Something was in the background here that needed a little time, a little power, let's say. I like the view, it's really nice. And as I say, in Octane, the Octane version on the, on the Patreon, there you will see how I made it with, with, uh, with, Subsurface scattering here, you see. And, but it's 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 a really easy thing. We, I made this so often in the tutorials now. But if you don't know, really, just download it. Yeah, I know it. It's a Patreon file, but I think it's worth to be a Patreon because, it's, as I said, there are so many things on on Patreon. Meanwhile. And uh, yeah, and I want it's not maybe not interesting for you, but uh, when the 4090 uh, came out, uh, I will buy one, of course, and uh, then I have a 2080 Ti here, which I don't need anymore. Then, so I will I think about to ruffle it uh, on Patreon, so uh, something like this, but okay, so. Let's see what we have now. Let's go closer. Yeah. You see, without the noiser, with the noiser. Big difference. And the render time, 52 seconds. I would say we can be really satisfied with this. Okay, that's it. I hope you like this one. I hope there was something you did not know or, or what came in your mind again, what you forgot already or something else. And yeah, next tutorial will come, I don't know so far. As I said, uh, I want to make at least one tutorial a month for, for free and uh, I do uh, for, for patrons uh, one tutorial a week. But this is not, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's a little less. This is, I cannot really plan it, I cannot, yeah, I, I plan it always, but uh, I never can do what I planned because <laughs> I always get some job in, uh, in between and then the end. Okay, so uh, if you have questions, complaints, uh, requests, or whatever, please uh, let me know in the comments or on our Facebook group, or on my Facebook site, or on my website, or wherever you want. 
and I try to uh, fulfill every wish you have. So, so uh, yeah, cinema for device. So. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, what can I say more? Ah, I see what I can I say more. I see here an ugly thing. Ha! Yeah, it's a pity for the guys. They already closed the tutorial. Uh, I hired here everything but the glass, so I don't need the socket thing, I don't need the leakage, I don't need the ring, I don't need the fluid, I don't need the cloner, I only want the glass here, so we have here I mean, we rendered this an ugly effect. Uh, of course, we don't see it now. Why? There should be an ugly effect. I've seen it on the render. Maybe from this side. Ah, I'm, ah, I'm on, on high. So that's the reason it. It works so hard, so let's go back to the low here. Let's disable it for now, so this should drain the quite fast. Yep. What? Yeah, here we see it. We have a shading problem here. It's like a star, so, so let's go out here. And go out of the go out of the hourglass. The reason is, uh, yeah, maybe you haven't seen it, but there are some times uh, you can see it extremely, uh, and you don't know what what you can do. So I want to show you here something. We have here uh, bring back the lines and B. So. It, and where do we have the uh, because of the class uh, NQ? So we have here triangles, and this can make some big problems sometimes. I have seen it in the render here, so shift F6 maybe. I can show it. You see it here very good. You see this? And this is because of the triangles here. You cannot really get rid of this, but uh, what you can do is you can make bring the hourglass here in. Uh, let's go to back to frame zero. In a remesher here because we have the remesher, so why not use it and put it in a remesher? And in the remesher, we can rem uh, we can symmetric in every position. And now you see. Let's go here to zero. Now you see we have here. Let's try the shading. This is the same. Now you see we have, don't have any triangles anymore. And when we Put this here, and so you can you, you don't get this these ugly things. So if we render this on which frame was this? Shift F six. Frame thirty five. Let's render this now. I render just the glass. So that you see the difference. Shift R. What's going on here? Ah, yeah, 35. Click somewhere out. Shift R. Hey, yeah, trend is now there. It's 
wait a little bit. There's nothing to render down here, but it renders. But we already see the difference. So, you see here, this star thing here, and here we have nothing. It looks a little different because we have now nothing in the background. We have no uh, fluid, no linkage here, so it's the reason it looks smaller. But it's only about this here. Now we have it perfect, and so it should be. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's much nicer. Good that I've seen it. So now we can bring back everything. Here we are back with everything. Socket, fluid, ring, ring, ring. So everything is here. Safe. And yeah, this exactly this file you can download already. No, not exactly this file. But the file uh, with shift uh, the Arclad JPEG, this file here you can download on Patreon as well. So, but this is almost the same what we have here. So, it's the same. But you see here, I did it as well with the quad with no triangles here. It looks much better. Okay, so uh, that's it for now again uh yep uh what can i say yeah if you want to support me again uh i would really appreciate if you subscribe to patreon and to all my subscribers out there i thank you so so much and uh, yeah really i really appreciate that that's extremely nice and uh, if you say no i don't want to pay monthly what whatever I want a preferred one donation, you can do this on your PayPal. PayPal, you find the link in the description as well. So, uh, yeah, and we are always set, I think. If questions, ask me, don't hesitate. Uh, I wish you all the best. I wish uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and Hopefully you're with me in my next tutorial and uh, what we do I can't say as I said I don't have a, I have a plan but it never works <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, that's it. I wish you a nice rest of the Sunday and See you soon. Bye. Bye. Have a nice day. Tschüss and bye. -bye.